What's the number one thing you can do for your health? I don't know. In fact, nobody knows unless they're looking at your genetics, unless they're looking at your health goals, they're looking at your health history. You can't tell somebody the number one thing and have it apply for everybody. It's absurd. Everybody's genetics are different. That's why I do genetic consults because you know, yesterday somebody sent me a DNA report from a different company. It was 137 pages. And they said, look, I don't understand like what I'm supposed to do, what supplements am I supposed to take? What am I like how, how am I supposed to optimize my health? I did this genetic report, I got nothing from it. Well, my goal when I do DNA consulting is to simplify it for people, number one, make it practical, number two, give them a top three list of supplements, give them a top five list. It depends on different people. Maybe it's just one supplement. Maybe you don't need any supplements. I would prefer that you saved money, ate healthy, didn't need any supplements, but who knows? It depends on your genetics. It's very, it's extremely variable and different people are different. And again, it depends on your health history. If you're not factoring in your previous health history, you're missing all of a big component of health optimization. If you're not if you're not factoring in your age, your sex, your health goals, what are your goals? A pro athlete is totally different than just somebody who's, you know, an academic or something who's working at a desk all day. So a lot of people are going to be different and that's why you have to do genetic consults to really optimize. Otherwise you're just guessing. And again, I wouldn't do it if I didn't believe in it, but I look at people's genetics I have my own software to do this. I created it because I was not happy with anything else on the market. And I'm looking at brain optimization, I'm looking at diet optimization. I'm looking at uh, sleep, I'm looking at training, your gym genes, I'm looking at your vitamin, your hormones genes, you know, different things related to stress and anxiety, Alzheimer's risk, heart disease risk, root causes of these things, not just guessing and blaming it on cholesterol, it might be heavy metals might be homocysteine. What is homocysteine? Well, we would talk about it if you have those genes. You know, it could be a lot of different things. And so the idea that you can just guess the number one health optimization technique and apply that globally to everybody is absurd. Don't fall into that trap. Customize your health. Think about it as a personal thing. Sometimes it takes some tinkering. And the more data you can gather for that, the better. I love the genetics specifically because there's hundreds of thousands of studies in this area and you can learn a lot from it. Hope that helps.